Hey guys, it's Ileana and Miguel here from Toy Quest 101 and on today's episode we are going to unbox the entire DZ Comics QD1 figures from Prime 1 Studios. And that episode is going to happen right yeah. now. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Ayana and Miguel here for yet another episode of Toy Quest 101. Now before we start, we want you guys to hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you don't miss any more statue reviews, unboxings, or celebrity guests. Now on this week's episode of Toy Quest 101, we are so excited because we got to partner up with Prime One Studios for our milestone and receiving over 100,000 subscribers and Toy Quest 101 receiving our Play Button Award. So thank you to Prime One Studios for partnering up with us and collaborating with us on such a big milestone. And thank you guys for supporting our mission and inspiring kids with autism and special needs. Now, let's get to the moment that we've waited for. Prime One Studios just sent us this brand new QD1 DC Comics figure line. The entire lineup for us to unbox today. So let's get started. Yeah. All right, guys. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm super excited for this episode. How about you, Iyana? I'm excited too. Now, the reason why I'm excited is because all I've been hearing about are these QD1 figures. It said they're supposed to be the new viral craze of vinyl figures and I can't wait to find out why. These have been so popular lately and everybody's been talking about them and I'm just so grateful for this opportunity to find out why myself and open them up today on Toy Quest 101 with you, Liana. All right, so what we did today is we divided up into two sections, my favorite characters on one side and Liana's favorite characters on the other. So Liana, why don't you go ahead and start and who do you want to pick first? I want to open up Holly Quinn. All right, that's a good choice. Now, what can you tell us about the box? The box is red and white and the same colors as Holly Quinn. That's right. Now, I'm glad you said that because I'm going to go ahead and grab mine too. I'm going to grab the Joker, Mr. J, since Ileana picked out Harley Quinn. Now, that's a very interesting detail, and I really love that about these QD1 boxes already, okay? It's a simple fact that the colors of the box match the figure inside. So none of the box really look the same, right? Yeah. All right, so we got the Harley Quinn with the red, white, and black, and so is the box. And I have the Joker, and it has the red, green, and white, just like the box. Now, another thing I like about the box is, and what you can't see on video, is how these boxes are made. So these boxes already have a thick, thick layer of packaging. So they're not really flimsy boxing at all. Um, it's really cool because it also has the picture window here where you can see the figure and it's actually the logo cutout of QD1. Now on the side you see the number? One. That's right and that's pretty cool too because it brings the logo right into the character and the packaging and I really like that. Super cool. Alright Ileana, so do you want to get started? Yeah. Alright, so she's going to go ahead and open up Harley Quinn. Alright, we're gonna slide that out. I'm gonna go ahead and oh wait, before you start, look at that. Now when you open this up, look, you see the QD1 logo right in the back. And I know you guys can't tell, but no wonder this box is so well made. It has an extra layer of packaging inside. So I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, and now the reason why I'm pointing that out is because we do own Funkos as well, and I usually keep them in the box, but they are so flimsy. The boxes are always getting damaged. Uh, the heat messes them up like this packaging is very very well done and it's a lot thicker than the packaging for Funko so already brownie points for the QD1s for really delivering on the details of the box and the packaging of these figures so go ahead Ayanna take that Ooh! oh wow so what can you tell us about the figure um, love the buttons, the eyes, uh, red, black, and white, and the same colors 
and the fluffy um, balls and the hat she's wearing. Yeah, that's super cool. Now let's take a look at that while you take the base. Now, man, like Iliana said, these things are really cool because they do have button eyes, okay? And you could really tell that they really put some detail into these figures and they're really well done. Um, I love the stitching. So it has a bunch of stitching here, which is really, really cool. Um, I really love that. And the cool thing about these guys is that they have a little zipper mouth. And look, the zipper hangs, which is really cool. I really enjoy that a lot. Um, I mean, the attention to detail on these figures is really amazing. Now, comparing them to Pop, since I already did that, you can tell there's a big difference in how these guys are made. The Pops are a little bit more plasticky and stuff. Uh, these guys are more of like a vinyl figure. Um, they're very sturdy. Um, they don't really move around too much. And like I said, the colors pop out. I love the stitching all around the figure. It almost looks like a baseball, right? With the, with the stitching and stuff. Yeah. Um, I really think that the extreme attention to detail and the texture is really phenomenal as well. Really, really, really well done. And now I could really understand right off the bat why everybody's going crazy about the QD1 series. So let's check out the base again. I want you to go ahead. Oh, the base is pretty big too. And now it has the logo in the front. And on the back, what does it have? Um, Harley Quinn. All right, so it has the car Harley Quinn. So you know that the base belongs to the Harley Quinn. Go ahead, why don't you put it on the base? What? No way. No way. Guys, all right, now, now you got me sold. All right, first off, it has a magnetic base. That's insane. Now, the reason why I'm a big fan of this is because not only is it magnetic, but it's really gonna hold your character in place for wherever you wanna put them, in the office, in your collection, on the shelf. I mean, this really looks cool, and it's a nice little pedestal look to displaying your figure. And I'm all about displaying the figure. So I'm really, really, really thrilled and happy to see that they really did a good job with this, I still can't believe it's a magnetic base, right? Yeah. That's crazy. That is crazy. So there's Harley Quinn. Look, magnetic base and it's strong too. That's insane. That, uh, that's insane. Unbelievable. Now check that out, guys. Super cool. I'm gonna go ahead and put her right here. And we're gonna put the box right behind it so you guys can check that out. Man, I really, really think that this display has so many different possibilities when you put them up on your shelf uh, just like this you can display them uh, you could put them on you know the little magnetic stand i really love this the possibilities are definitely endless with how you display these guys man good job so far right and that's the yeah. first one we haven't even done all the other ones all right so let's get harley quinn right off to the side right here and I'm gonna go ahead and open up Mr. J, the Joker, all right? So, we already talked about the box. I love the colors, match the figure. Um, it does have a Joker feel to the box, which I think is super cool. I'm gonna go ahead and open them up. Look at that, look at the inside, it has green. Very well job done with the packaging. All right, Liana's helping me out. Wow, he did an excellent job. Oh my goodness, what do you like about him? He has a cool hill style. I know, and look, his mouth is the only one that's open. If you notice, you saw that? Yeah. That is neat, let's show the camera. Wow. Now we're gonna show you a close up towards the end of the video of all these figures. Uh, but right now, I mean, I'm just, this is insane. If you guys take a look at the hair, it is so detailed. Every single strand of hair here that they did with the stitching is insane. I mean, look at that, his little flower, his little bow tie. He's got like a little stomach and he's the only one with the zipper open, which I thought that was a super cool added touch, especially to the Joker. This is neat. Now let's check out the base does have the Joker base with the QD1. So we're gonna go ahead and 
put him right here in the front. That's amazing. Yeah. What do you think? It's so cute. cute. It's so cute, so right? No wonder they're called cutie ones. All right. Why don't you go ahead with your next figure? Who are you going to pick? Superman. All right. So you're going to go ahead and pick Superman, and I'm going to go ahead and pick Batman. And same thing with the box. The box here has all these different colors that match the character. So does Iana Superman. So Iana, go ahead and open it up, and I'm going to go ahead and open up as well. The texture on these things are amazing. I mean, I cannot get over it on how beautiful these things look. I mean, the colors pop, man, look at that. That's amazing, right? Yeah. All right, Leanna, why don't you go ahead and talk about Superman? Um, nice, really good hairstyle. Yep, his hairstyle is good. The texture on it is good. It's got the little curl in the front. Check that out. The stitching on through the hair. And what else? Um, his button eyes are blue. Yep, blue. that's cool. Always with the button eyes. I, I think that's really neat. And you got the zipper mouth and the zipper hangs. Check out the cape, right? The cape is really neat as well. That is awesome. Now while she gets the base out, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the Batman again. I mean, this is amazing. This is amazing. Now I can really understand why and appreciate why this has been going viral. Uh, this is definitely gonna beat out Funko. Funko has no chance uh, with how they're gonna compete with these guys. I mean, Cutie One definitely delivered with these figures. Um, now, I get it, I'm on board. I'm on board that train, I'll tell you that much. These things are awesome. You got the base? Yeah. All right, same thing, Batman on the back. Superman on the back. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put these guys right here. That's pretty neat. Yeah. That is pretty neat. They're so cute. They are very cute. All right, who's next? Cyborg. All right, she's gonna do Cyborg, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the Flash. So go ahead, same thing. The Flash colors really pop on the box. I really like that. And Eliana has Cyborg, which her box is gray. Yeah, so much silver. That man, it pops too, right? It's really shiny, right? Shiny. The um, different colors of his eyes. Let me see. Oh, I didn't know. That is a good detail. See, this is what I love about people really diving deep into the details of these characters. Now, as you know, Cyborg is half human, half machine, or half cyborg, right? And like Ileana pointed out, he has two different color eyes. So like the Joker, the zipper was open. Now with Cyborg, with Cyborg, that little detail with the colors of the eyes being different really, really impresses me a lot. They really paid attention to the detail. Check that out. So you got a darker brown eye here and a red eye here. That is neat. I like that a lot. And the stitching on these things are pretty cool. They're so cute. They are cute. This is insane. Yeah. These are like little kawaii, soft vinyl style figures. And I really, really enjoyed what they did with these guys. I mean, I'm a fan. I think we're gonna have to start collecting these now. Yes. Ah, uh, all right. All right, so check this out. QD1, got the base. Here's Cyborg. Put him here. Now I have the flash. And man, the colors really stand out. I love his little antennas on the side. I love the stitching like on the other figures, the buttons, you know, the uh, zipper mouth. Now all of these characters all have the same look as far as uh, the stitching, the button eyes, and the zipper mouths. Um, but this is, this is amazing. I, I this, is, this is crazy, right? Yeah. This, this, you know what sold me on this? Not only the attention to detail and the stitching on it, uh, was really cool but this magnetic base really did it for me because like i said 
You know, I could display this in my office, at work, on my shelf, on my TV stand. Um, these are really cool. Here's a flash, guys. All right. Who else do you got? Robin. All right. So you're going to do Robin. So why don't you go ahead, open him up, and I'll do Catwoman since she's part of Batman as well. Once again, here's a box. Very cool. Nice colors, red, yellow, and green. That's really neat for the camera. The colors really pop out, and you know, that's what I really like about these guys too. So everything so far is a lot different than Funko. Since I'm comparing them to Funko, it's really the only thing I can compare them to. Um, the boxes already are way better built, way better designed. So if you're the type of person who wants to display your figures in the box, you absolutely can with these. And if you're not the type of uh, person to display them inside the box and want to display them outside of the box, this definitely looks really good too. And they really look together really well done, right? Yeah. Like them together really looks really neat. We got Robin and here's Catwoman. Show them Robin. Check that out. Check out his cape, turn him around. Oh look, and then Catwoman has her little lasso and it almost looks like a tail. I, I like that too. See, more details that they put into these uh, figures with the little goggles. I, I love this, I really do. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and we're just gonna turn the turntable on real quick so you guys can see them spinning around. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put Robin on the side right here. Check that out. All right, let's open up the last ones. Wonder Woman. All right, and I have Aquaman. So let's show them the box real quick. Really cool. Man, these things are incredible. I still can't get over the magnetic base. I really can't. Oh, check that out. Look at his hair. Look at his hair. The stitching on it is really cool. The gold vest. I really love this. This is cool. What about you? Love the stars, which is great. Oh yeah, that's right. Let me see. Oh yeah, look at Wonder Woman looks really neat too. I mean, from the crown, Indiana said the stars on her trunks really cool. She's got the lasso of truth here. And again, the stitching, the zipper mouth, the button eyes. I mean, these are truly cute. No pun intended. That's probably why they call them cutie ones. Cool, right? There you guys have it. What do you think, Yana? It was amazing. I know. We're definitely gonna start collecting. But right now, let's get a closer look at each one of these figures on the turntable. All right, guys. So here's a closer look at the Harley Quinn number 13 out of the DC series of QD1 figures. Now she looks super cool with the details that she has on her with the stitching, the button eyes, the zippers. Look at the box as it turns on the turntable. Very well done to match the colors of the figure. Now check out the Joker. This probably has to be my favorite one just because of the details on his face. This is the only one that has the zipper open on the mouth and I just think it matches the character very well. They did a really good job with this Joker and I'm really thrilled to have it. Super, super cool. All right, here's the Dark Knight himself, Batman. This is number six in the series. He looks super cool with his vibrant blue colors. I really enjoy this one as well. I think it's one of my favorites. 
All right, here is Catwoman. Now she's super cool because she has the red buttons on her goggles. Uh, definitely a cool one. This is number 15 of the series, Catwoman. All right, and here comes Aquaman, number 11 of the series. He's super cool. I love his hair. The stitching was done really well on his hair as well. I love the gold vest. Another cool figure from this series. All right, guys, here is Wonder Woman number eight from the lineup. This is definitely my favorite. Now, this is one of Rihanna's favorites. She loves the crown. She loves the stars on the trunks, the lasso of truth. They did a very good job with this one as well. All right, guys, here is The Flash, number nine in the series from QD1 DC Comics line. Really love this one as well. The colors really stick out. And again, the figure matches the color of the boxes to make it unique in its own way. All right, guys, here is the leader of the Justice League himself, Superman, number seven here. Really cool with the hair, the details, a little Jericho in the front and the cape super cool once again superman all right guys here's the boy wonder robin batman sidekick now i love the colors on robin as well because they really stand out and again qd1 does a good job matching the colors of the figure with the box so super cool to have him in your collection as well all right guys last but not least we have cyborg number 10 definitely one of my favorites as well. Now Eliana really liked the details that they put on this figure because they gave him a red eye and a brown eye since he's half human half cyborg. Super cool detail to look for on this one. That just about wraps up our video today with the QD1 DC comic series from Prime 1 Studios. Eliana what did you think? It was amazing and now I'm a huge fan. Yeah I'm definitely a fan as well. Um, I didn't know what the hype was about. I know these things were going viral and now I can understand why. After unboxing them and looking at them firsthand with Ileana, uh, the details on these guys are truly amazing. I've been saying it through the whole entire video. I think they're super cool. And now I know why these things are going viral. If you guys want to add these to your collection, just look at the bio of the video, where we're going to have the links where you can purchase these on Prime One Studios website. Now, QD1 series just doesn't do the DC comics. They do other QD1 series as well. They have Devil May Cry 5, they have Berserk, which look out for an episode where Toy Plus 1 is going to be unboxing the Berserk QD1 series. They have Batman, they have Fist of the North Star, Birds of Prey, Harley Quinn, uh, Gremlins, Gizmo, right? And the new Wonder Woman 1984 and a couple other ones. So make sure to check Prime One Studios website out. All the links are going to be in the bio of our video. So Eliana, why don't you tell them where they can find us? You can find us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok. That's right. And always subscribe to Toy Quest 101. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, please subscribe, please share comments with us and tell us what you think about these figures yourself. Until next time, guys, we'll see you on another episode of Toy Quest 101. Bye, guys. Bye.